Uh, my name's Bernard Dickinson, I'm principal at Shellfield Community Academy. 3D technology, as far as we're concerned, is the, the natural development of how young people learn and an understanding of that. It isn't a gimmick. We've looked at that whole concept and developed our way or our approach to learning using 3D in particular. What we're actually saying now is that young people, they're used to YouTube, they're used to TV, they're used to the cinema, so they learn quickly in that kind of environment. And of course, the, what we're finding now is that the youngsters that are involved in lessons using 3D technology, they're actually able to learn at a faster pace. We've, we've got a 3D immersive um, projector um, which we use in, in a, in a specialised room uh, which we put sound in there and bring students in there for sort of looking at the specialised 3D content. Um, we've also provided by Guy, we've got a room where students go and create the content themselves. So high-end machines that, that are able to cope with um, CAD design and Mugbox software. And we're now branching out into putting projectors into classrooms as well. I think the students have engaged a lot in the 3D. The one thing that I've noticed immensely is their willingness to ask more questions. They're really keen to find out what particular things are and they'll point to things and get a lot more involved in the, in the um, resource rather than just looking at a book. Instead of looking at your own textbook, you are part of a group, you're part of a team and it actually enables the whole room to be involved. Um, and it just makes difficult concepts easier to, to describe because you can actually rotate around the object. The children are a lot more involved straight away. So if you can walk a young person through a Roman town where they can see the kind of architecture, where they can see the kind of buildings that are, that are used in terms of temples and in terms of marketplaces, uh, in terms of areas for gladiators, etc. Literally, in a few moments, they've got a sense of what it was like, which is unbelievably difficult to do reading a textbook. What 3D technology can do is speed up the learning process so that it not be only becomes enjoyable and fun for the youngsters, but they're able to absorb what it is the teacher wants them to, to learn much more quickly and much more effectively. The biggest single thing I think that as a teacher, it eradicates the time lost in lessons. Time in here seems to operate on a far different level. It just speeds through. A lesson that would normally takes 60 minutes to deliver in a normal classroom takes 35 to 40 minutes in here. Whether it's engagement, whether it's enjoyment, whether it's just something different, I can't explain it. But I know that once the students come in here, I can teach almost 30% more than I would in a normal classroom. It's a really immersive experience. Um, whereas in other subject areas like art, for example, where they're using the, the Mudbox software, the students are now becoming the creators. Um, and we certainly think that's where the, the, the real quality learning will be. And they're obviously learning how to use industrial standard software. So obviously there are lots of benefits beyond school. Um, we wanted a, a, a team that were going to be innovative, that were going to help us push the boundaries, that were going to find things for us that were going to take us further. Um, but also that there's a real learning focus. It's not, it's not about technology, it's about what are the educational benefits going to be and, and how are the students really going to be taken forward. It's about developing skills within youngsters so that they appreciate the relationship between different features of whatever it is they're learning. And it's the technology, the 3D technology, that enables to do, to, to do that for them more effectively.